so, so cool. happy you're here. I'm so grateful to be here. This is like home and a reunion walking through the hallways. <laughs> you know, this place is so special to me. So thanks for having me on. Oh, no problem. And tell us about uh, the work you're doing now. What kind of women are you finding in this new chapter of your life? So this has been a really interesting transition for me because I, I had such a great career, obviously, for 15 years. It was exciting. It was an amazing chapter, but I felt this need to try something new mm -hmm. and create something. I think something happens when you're about to turn 40 and you're really <laughs> questioning oh, yeah. <laughs> like where you are in your life. I don't know if anyone can relate to that. Yeah. But you know, you might be looking at your career, your relationships, your lifestyle, and there were a lot of women that I was actually following, like on Instagram, yeah. and they really inspired me and the way that they had created their destiny or, you know, reinvented themselves. And so that, that kind of started the idea behind Sunny Space and to take a leap of faith. And how did you decide to take that leap? Because you were doing meteorology for 15 years, and when you do something for that long, it must be very scary. Very yes. scary, yeah. A hardest decision I've ever had to make. And actually, everybody here supported me so much and helped me through that transition. And you, I remember talking <laughs> to you about it. And I just, I had my number one was my family. And I think you get to a point where you question, like, what really is success in life and how do you define being fulfilled you know and for me it was living by my family that was my number one and they're in San Diego and I, we had parents to care for and grandparents and I have two daughters and I needed to be there I just felt yeah. like a calling to be there and I wanted a work-life balance that I didn't really <laughs> have for those 15 years yeah. so I was trying to create that that's why I say create my own sunny space I was yeah. looking for that I wanted to wake up to my coffee and the sunshine, <laughs> and little things like that. But I also am raising two girls in this often crazy world. And I think it's uh, the biggest job and most challenging job I have. And my, my husband and I just, I don't know, we wanted to, to make that change and create something new for all of us. And So what was your big goal? What do you hope to accomplish with all of this? Because I know it was a scary move and now you're in it. And what, what is your hope? My hope, well, originally it started out with, gosh, my daughters need amazing role models to look yeah, up to. It's, absolutely. It's kind of scary when you see what's on, not scary, there's good stuff out there too, but <laughs> when you look at <laughs> It can be media, scary. Yeah. yeah. yeah it's, like, it's not about, you know, the perfect outfit and filter and how many likes you get on Instagram. It's like, it's what's in here and it's what's up here and how we're living life and walking with each other and helping each other and... I wanted to create role models for them and share these stories of people that were inspiring me. And it started that way, and I have this amazing team out there. You all know who you are. Everyone believed in this so much, just as much as I did. And now we have a brand new project with a company called Cut From The Cloth, and we're creating this campaign, and it's, a, it's basically a documentary film series. Mm -hmm. And we're launching on Monday, and we're sharing stories about heroes and I mean, just together, we are also passionate about how we can empower and help. Crystal, I'm so sorry to interrupt you, <laughs> but we're out of time, and we have to, no, we have no. to hear all about this on yeah. social media. We'll Absolutely. go on Facebook and Instagram and, and yeah. tell everybody the story. Yeah, we can't yeah. wait to hear more. Perfect.